Hello and today I'll be showing you how to fix Steam VR. There's a lot of problems with Steam VR, so the problems I'll be discussing is Steam VR crossing, um, the screen going black, um, the screen going black because your driver crash, so your driver fails, it goes black, Steam goes off and you have to restart Steam VR or maybe you have to restart your old computer. It happens randomly, so it could happen five minutes into a game or five hours, and it's just some sort of problems. And it happens to a lot of people. And I've recently just fixed it for me, for myself. So I thought I'd make a video. I've waited, made so it worked for what I did. So I'll be going through some steps what you can do. So these are the steps. We'll go through them one at a time. So step one is to download and install the latest drivers for your GPU and everything else. I'm not going to show you how to do this because it's simple and you've probably already done it. All right, the second step is to run Steam and Steam VR as admin. Sometimes it can just be a, per a permission issue. So what you want to do is just go to properties. So find your Steam shortcut on your desktop. Go to properties. Go to compatibility, run this program as admin. I've actually got a video showing this, but I'll just do it real quick for you. Find Steam VR. If you go to VR here, and then it's a bit at the bottom here. Go to properties. Go to local files. Go to browse local files. Go to, uh, I believe it is bin, and then Win64. And then VR monitor, VR composition, and VR server properties, compatibility with this program as admin. Alright, so that's the second step. Now you are running Steam, Steam VR as admin. It, all this stuff has been easy. You know, you can see if that works. It probably won't, but it might do. Alright, the third step is run Steam VR in beta or if you're running it in beta put it back onto its normal one you've probably already done this if you have done it in beta but if you don't know how to do for beta go on to Steam VR what we were on a minute ago right click go to properties and then betas and then you can just opt into it if you have a one of these but it's this one beta Steam VR beta update uh, that might fix the problem you're having if it's only happened after the last Steam VR update. That could fix it. Um, Alright, so now it's step four. Alright, this is for Steam VR settings. So let me launch Steam VR and I'll show you my settings. I've disabled a lot of and that's basically what I'm going to show you. So let it launch up. Then go on to settings and then go start with general. So I have this, it might just be better for you to look, but general, not really much there. Applications, make so you're not running it at 200%, 500%, or something like that. Just use global settings, that's what I use, seems to work. Video. I disable, so you want to go on to video, disable motion smoothing, and I also disable custom solution, but you can do it. Alright, you want to disable for camera, and you also want to disable Bluetooth. These both can get in the way of Steam VR running properly. Then you want to go on to developer. I put start Steam VR, run a VR application starts. Yep, pause rendering when we had set is idle. I untapped this, I've untapped all these, so just copy out where really. personal that's the best settings. Um, and then what you want to do as well disable power management. So if you click on this, um, it will just disable power management and install the drivers again, and that's put much that. Yeah. And then what you want to do as well is enable direct display mode. Now this basically just makes it 
it's meant to already happen when I, you load a game and play it. Steam VR should launch in direct mode, but sometimes it doesn't, and that can cause it to crash. So I like to enable it every now and again. So I, before I start playing on Steam VR for five hours, I'll enable direct mode here. Seeing as it's quick. All right, now that's all the settings for Steam VR out of the way. Hopefully you, un you understood what I was on about. I'm talking a bit fast, trying to get through it all. Alright, step five, no overclocking. So, what I want to point out now is, s try Steam VR, see if it works. If it works, you don't need to do any more steps. Because from this point on, it's going to be harder, and it's going to impact more for your gaming. So, step five is no overclocking on CPU or GPU. Even if it in an overclocking problem, it can still cause it. So, just make sure it in overclocks your CPU or GPU if you're using Afterburner and such. Alright, then get like I said, from this point on, tack to see if Steam VR is working after each step because they'll get worse and worse. Alright, so step six. No overclocking software, software like MSI Afterburner. Personally, so what I mean is, I found that Afterburner got in were conflict software for Steam VR, and when after I used Afterburner, as you can see here, when after when after I used Afterburner to set up my GPU, even though I didn't overclock it. It still made Steam VR crash. I'm not telling you to uninstall it, there's no need. All you need to do is make so that you go into your toolbar, click here, find, um, well, minimize it first. All right, click here, find your afterburner icon, and just click close. That's it, it's something be running. Just make so go in your taskbar, make so there's no afterburner software running. So that's that. But if you use Afterburner like I did to set up your GPU fan, um, I advise you to use SpeedFan. I'll show you now, SpeedFan. I've personally just started using this because like I said Afterburner was causing Steam VR to crash. And I found that it does not cause any problems with any software. It's simply just to control your GPU fan. You can set it up with CPU fan. If you need help setting up a fan on using this program because it does not cause the NVR to crash, I have a set up video. It's really easy, really good. All right. So like it says, check to see if the NVR now works. All right. Step seven, this is mainly for AMD users because I don't know if GeForce does it or whatever the other one, yep, whatever graphics card you got. But for AMD, AMD is just a fucking dick, really. Uh, for the amount of programs that do not work because of AMD is just ridiculous. So basically, Steam VR, in order to make it work, you need to disable AMD settings. Well, not AMD, it's AMD radiant settings in the graphics card it's for software so it's this software I'm I am recording using it at the moment because OBS don't work with AMD anymore um, so basically what you want to do is you go into your test manager so right click your um, toolbar test manager find radium settings host application and then task that's it that's all you need to do and then AMD settings is no longer running while you're playing Steam VR, and it it does not cause your GP to crash, but I think it enabled I think AMD settings up may cause it to crash. So just disable it in Task Manager here. Like I said, well simple. Find it. It takes up a lot of memory, so it's easy to find it if you click here. Sort it by memory. Find it and Task Ban. It will probably work now. So at this point. It's a like, 80% turn Steam VR will not crash. I mean, you might have a one or two crash depending on the games you're playing, but 
normally a well player now on Steam VR with no problems. The next step is a bit more harsh. No turbo on CPU. So enable so most CPUs have turbo enabled and it's just kind of overclocking. So it can cause Steam VR to crash. So I've personally disabled it. So what you want to do is disable turbo on your CPU in your BIOS. Now all BIOS is different, so I can't tell you how to do it. But if you search, I just searched on Google. And so this one is my BIOS, but as you can see, if you use Intel Turbo Boost Technology, all you need to do is disable it. There's also another one here, so Turbo Mode, you just disable it. So just go into your BIOS. If you don't know how, search it on YouTube for be a tutorial somewhere out there, and just make sure your turbo is disabled. And then, like I said, now Steam VR should work. Okay, that's pretty much all my steps really. But step nine is to see if Steam VR works without Steam. Maybe it's Steam what causing all these problems, not Steam VR. So what you want to do here. It's well simple. You want to go to Steam, go to that. So first, first, you want to go onto Steam, onto Steam VR, right click properties, local files, browse local files. All right, now you have this up. It's just a shortcut. That's it out of Steam. Go into your toolbar, find the Steam icon, and that's it. Now Steam is no longer running. Gone to bin, win64, 32 depending on your thing. Um, and then launch VR monitor. This is basically just yeah without Steam. So, so now Steam VR is running but Steam is not. And then say you wanted to play a certain game like Onward or Pathlo. You'll have to go into that specific game and launch it like that. Um, if you if this works without Steam, so now if you're playing VR games without running Steam, just using Steam VR, then Steam VR is not the problem. Steam is, and basically then you need to fix Steam, and that's a different topic. So I won't talk about that. So that's basically it. Everything should be working. Hopefully, you know how everything should be working step 10 is to look for any other conflicting software on your computer so I use afterburner and AMD for all my computer stuff but say you use a different program that could be doing it Google conflicting software and if you think something might be interrupting Steam for you just make sure you disable it see if it works and etc but that should work. There's just one point now I want to make, and that is Steam VR is not perfect, and Steam is not perfect, so it could crash even after doing all this. You know, after now and again, you might have one or two crashes, crashes, but that does not mean Steam VR is broken. It just it's it's just like it could still do it. So. If it does crash, just make sure you, you understand it, it. It can, you know, it normally it works, but you don't need to go into a panic every time you get one or two crashes. And it can also be a game. So if you're playing a certain game, and it's Steam VR crashes, um, just make sure it's not for game. So I onward Pathlo. So just keep playing different games. Um, some new some games are built on a certain software and it could be that software what's broken so just make sure it's not the game that is the problem okay i hope this has helped if you need more help just comment below um if you couldn't understand what i said you know i've got the steps here it's it's pretty simple what i told you to do like i said if this didn't work you need more help comment below if you didn't understand something I said, just comment below. I'm here to help. Because I love Steam. I, I love VR. And it really pisses me off that Steam VR is just 
not perfect, not not as good as we want it to be. So f thanks for watching, and I I hope I helped.